And welcome to Robert J. Collins Arena in Lincroft, New Jersey. The first of two games, a doubleheader here in Lincroft. The first game, the Brookdale Jersey Blues women's basketball team hosting the Sussex County Skylanders. And similarly, similarly the Brookdale men's basketball squad will also host the Sussex County men's Skylanders. As you just saw, Rakaia Mako, one of two from the free throw line. And now Sussex with the basketball. On the court right now for Sussex is number four, Donna Gonzalez, 11, Ellen Villapando, number 20, Reese Vanderhoof, and number 24, Tia Melvin just missed that three ball. It's gonna be a held ball and the possession going back to the Sussex County Skylanders. And welcome to everyone tuning in. My name is Dominic Sama. As on behalf of the Brookdale TV crew, the rest of the cameramen and control room, we are proud to have you on and tuning in here on Brookdale TV. Jada Rogers thought about the three, goes inside of the baseline. Rakaia Mack thought about it and now it's gonna be a reach-in foul on number four, Donna Gonzalez. Gianna Pacini set to inbound for Brookdale. Inbounds over to Jasmine Sullivan. Over to Rakaia Mack at the right corner, goes inside, gives over to Sullivan. A nice pass from Mack to Sullivan, but no good in a rebound by Reese Vanderhoof. Vanderhoof puts it up, no good in a rebound by Carissa Reyes. Reyes over to Jasmine Sullivan, deflected away, and it's gonna go back to the Skylanders. A little background on the Sussex Skylanders. They are five and nine overall, three and seven in league play, in Region 19 league play. Currently on a two game win streak. And the last two games they won by 15 against Bergen County and by 29 against Lehigh Carbon out of Pennsylvania. Missed shot there as Rakaia Mack is over to Jada Rogers who looks to go inside, kicks it out. Gianna Pacini at the right wing. Jasmine Sullivan over to Jada Rogers. Will take the three, is strong. Rebound by Vanderhoof. Reese Vanderhoof averages 10.8 rebounds a game for the Skylanders. That is enough to be the top of the stat sheet as per rebounding. Misfired pass from number 24, Tia Melvin, intended for Ella Villapando. We'll go back to the Jersey Blues. Mack inbounds to Carissa Reyes. Back over to Mack. Gianna Pacini at the right corner, goes inside, puts it up, and it's going to be a shooting foul going up. So G Gianna Pacini will head to the line for a pair off the charity stripe. Foul is going to be on number four, Donna Gonzalez, and that's her second, team's third of the game. And Pacini is currently 0 for 1 at the line. She'll get a chance at one more. And Pacini makes the second, so she'll go one of two at the line. Brookdale with a 2-0 early lead over the Skylanders. Last time these two teams met, Brookdale won handily 60-27 to at Sussex. As a rebound and make by Caroline Fox goes in right off the bench, ties the game up at two. Mack over to Pacini from the right corner, nails a three ball. Check that, that is a two-pointer, a long two, makes it four to two. Brookdale on top, a misfired pass from Villapando goes back to the Jersey Blues. 
Jada Rogers with the handle, gives over to Carissa Reyes, thought about the three, goes inside, kicks it back out to Mac. Mac over to Rogers, to Pacina. Gianna Pacini goes inside, blocked, and it goes back to the Sussex Skylanders. Ella Villapando running the point. Brings over the timeline, defended by Reyes. Over to Reese Vanderhoof. Caroline Fox. Via Pondo, Vanderhoof. And gives it over. That's Caroline Fox, and it's going, she's going to be called for steps. And Jada Rogers gets the inbound from Mack. Carissa Reyes brings it over the timeline. Rogers, Sullivan. Cross court pass to Gianna Pacini. And Carissa Reyes looks to go inside, gives it over. A nice pass over to Jasmine Sullivan, who finishes and makes it a 6 to 2 lead over the Skylanders with 6.15 left in the first quarter. Vanderhoof, a nice pass over to Caroline Fox, who can't finish, blocked from behind. And here comes Carissa Reyes at the other end, coast to coast, and lays it in. Timeout called by Caitlin Blair, the six-year head coach of the Sussex Skylanders. 6.02 left in this first quarter. We'll stay here for this quick timeout. So, of course, my name is Dominic Sama. I will be on the call for you for tonight's women's basketball and men's basketball game here on Brookdale TV. We have a great crew here behind the scenes bringing to you the broadcast at home. Brookdale standing at 11 and seven overall, eight and two in league play, in region 19 league play. They are third in the region 19 league behind Rowan College of South Jersey, Gloucester and Northampton. Jersey Blues set to play Northampton next Saturday, the following Saturday. Tip off set to be at 12 o'clock. For any of you viewers watching at home, I would highly suggest you definitely attend Saturday afternoon's doubleheader on the 12th, February 12th, both the women's and men's team playing the Northampton teams as they are both leading in the league. The Brookdale women at number three, Northampton women at number two, while the Brookdale men's are at number one and Northampton is at also at number two. Rebound by Reese Vanderhoof, doesn't go, and here comes Jada Rogers yet again. Goes up, no good, and a rebound by Vanderhoof. Vanderhoof dominating the stat sheet when it comes to rebounds. Again, she averages 10.8 rebounds a game for the Skylanders. Cleaning up in the paint for Sussex. Ella Case checks in for Brookdale, as does Vera Ajimung. Angela Christmas. A freshman guard coming off the bench for the Skylanders, checking in. Ella Villapando at the baseline, goes inside, puts it up, no good. And a rebound by Angela Christmas. Villapando over to Reese Vanderhoof. Christmas defended by Sullivan. Caroline Fox gives it over to Christmas. And a nice shot by Madison Malu, no good. Ball goes out of bounds and it will go the other way. Ella Case set to inbound. Sussex looking to do a full court press. Carissa Reyes easily slicing through. Rakaia Mack for three and nails it. 
Brookdale with an early nine point lead, 11 to two. As Rakaia Max steals it, goes coast to coast and lays it in again. Double digit lead for the Jersey Blues with four and a half to go in the first quarter of play. Foul called on Ella Case as Reese Vanderhoof runs her right over. Pacini checks right back in for the Jersey Blues in place of Jasmine Sullivan. Ella Villapando running the point again for the Skylanders. Angela Christmas over to Caroline Fox and now Villapando defended closely by Ella Case. And Angela Christmas misses the catch and is taken by Vera Ajimung over to Case and now Rakaia Mack brings it over the timeline running the point for the Jersey Blues. Check that, that's Carissa Reyes running the point. And now Ella Case shooting the three ball off and rebound by Vera Ajimung who will be sent to the line for two. Jada Rogers checking in for the Jersey Blues in place of Carissa Reyes. Vera Ajimung is a 42% free throw shooter and is in and out on the first. Averages 3.8 points per game with contribution to the Jersey Blues and she goes 0 for 2 from the line. Jada Rogers with the offensive rebound, no good and a rebound by Tia Melvin. Check that that was Madison Malu. Angela Christmas on the other end, no good. And Rakaia Mack brings over the timeline for Brookdale. Mack defended by Angela Christmas. Gets a screen from Adjumong and no good with the jumper. Rebound by Vanderhoof. Via Pondo over to Christmas and tripped up by Ella Case. So that'll be her second. Carissa Reyes checking in, as does Gina Zazali for the first time for the Skylanders. Christmas inbounding over to Reese Vanderhoof who tries a three off the mark and a rebound by Jada Rogers. And here comes Carissa Reyes over to Jasmine Sullivan who gets bumped and she will have a chance at the line for two. 2.51 to go in the first quarter of play. And Brookdale looking to keep up the momentum towards the end of the season and keep on, excuse me, keep on winning for the rest of the season. Jasmine Sullivan makes the first. Sullivan, a 42.1% free throw shooter. What? She'll have a chance for one more at the line. And Sullivan makes a second. 15 to two, Brookdale with an early burst here against the Skylanders. And Brookdale initiating their full court press. Gina Zazali mishandles the ball and gets kicked by Rakaia Mack. So Zazali will inbound to Ella Villapando, but not before Vera Ajimung checks in for Rakaia Mack. Quick note on Rakaia Mack, she 
in the past four or five games that Brookdale has won, every time they have won in the past four games, they have had Rakaia Mack score double doubles each time. Jasmine Sullivan tries a three and it's off the mark. Rebound by Gianna Pacini. Jada Rogers sets up from the corner and airmails it toward the other side of the court. There's gonna be a held ball possession going back to the Sussex Skylanders. And possession will go back to Brookdale. Gianna Pacini inbounding for the Jersey Blues over to Jasmine Sullivan who puts it up. And just short rebound by Villapando. First time in a few minutes that a fellow Skylander other than Reese Vanderhoof rebounds the ball and a nice land from number 14, Caroline Fox, a 5'10 freshman forward out of Green Township, New Jersey. Carissa Reyes over to Jada Rogers, the three ball no good and a rebound by Fox. Play call made by Ella Villapando. And Caroline Fox will try again, and this time no good. Rebound by Pacini over to Carissa Reyes, who as always runs the floor for the Jersey Blues. The 5-2 freshman out of Jersey City goes toward the right side of the court. Then goes inside, kicks out Pacini. This is a three ball, no good. And this will be a tipped away by Sussex and Jada Rogers will have the possession. And number 21, Madison Malo is bumped by Rogers. She is holding her face. And it's going to be a foul on Malo. Rogers will go to the line to shoot a pair. and makes the first. Jada Rogers is a 62.9% free throw shooter. Averages 12.1 a game collectively for the Jersey Blues. And a rebound by Gina Zazali goes over to Madison Mailer who's at the right wing. Gina Zazali over to pass over to Tia Melvin, gets swatted away, and here comes Jada Rogers at the other end. Passes it to Jasmine Sullivan and stolen away by Caroline Fox. Ella Villapando gets fouled by Gianna Pacini. Pacini gesturing that this is going to be Brookdale basketball, no foul on Gianna Pacini. Jada Rogers over to Carissa Reyes, defended by Villapando. And Reyes looks to kick it out, but stolen by Villapando and going to be a held ball possession. Going back to the Sussex Skylanders. Via Pondo giving it over. Madison Malu and Tia Melvin lay up no good. And taken away by Jada Rogers, who goes inside, tries to put it up, and is blocked away by Madison Malu. But that will end the first quarter. Brookdale with a 16 to 4 burst over the Sussex Skylanders. We'll take a break here for just a quick minute here on Brookdale TV. Hello, my name is Ella Case. I am a guard on the team. I am from Seagirt, New Jersey, and I graduated from Hawthorne Christian Academy. 
My major is Early Childhood Development, Special Education, and I chose Brookdale because it's close to home and it has a great basketball program. And we are back for the second quarter of play. Brookdale opening the lead up and with a 12 point margin over the Sussex County Skylanders, up 16 to four. Gianna Pacini sets an inbound for the Jersey Blues from half court, gives it over to Carissa Reyes. And now over to Gianna Pacini at the right wing. At the right corner is Carissa Reyes who kicks it over to Jada Rogers, the sharpshooter. Jasmine Sullivan looking to go inside, takes matters into her own hands and lays it in. Sullivan averaging 9.7 points per game for the Jersey Blues. Makes it 18 to four over the Skylanders. Madison Malu putting up her own land, no good. Rebound by Mack. And a great pass back and forth from Jasmine Sullivan to Carissa Reyes and back to Sullivan, who's the beneficiary and makes it 20 to four, Brookdale on top. Angela Christmas goes inside and over to Madison Malu. No good, Madison Malu the recovery and in. One minute in, Brookdale now up on top by 14. Pass by Carissa Reyes over the head of Jada Rogers, startled the student manager Ryan Murray there as it hit the desk. And it will go back to the Skylanders. Ella Villapando over to Gina Zazali. Angela Christmas. And now Caroline Fox at the free throw line. Via Pondo going inside. Nice pass over to Gina Zazali. Can't finish. And Angela Christmas tries once and this time lays it in. A nice lay in there by Christmas. The freshman guard and shrinks the Brookdale lead down to 12. Jada Rogers over to Pacini. This is a three ball. No good. Rebound by Villapondo. Goes over to number 21, Madison Malu. Malu over to Ellen Villapondo. Gina Zazali over to Angela Christmas. Villapondo over to Zazali. There'll be a foul on the floor. It's gonna be called on Carissa Reyes. So that'll be her first and the team's first in the second quarter. Ella Case and Vera Ajimang checking in for the Jersey Blues. Caroline Fox over to Gina Zazali. And now Ellen Pondo giving it over to Madison Malu who lays it in nicely and makes a 20 to 10 lead. She trims the Brookdale lead down to 10. Gianna Pacini defended by Zazali and now Mack back to Pacini at the right wing, goes inside, puts it up, is bumped, no good. No call from the referee and a rebound by Madison Malu. Goes inside, giving it over to Caroline Fox. Gives it to Gina Zazali. The three-pointer no good. Caroline Fox's shot is no good either. And Pacini looking to go inside. The Euro step puts it up, no good. And a rebound by Villapondo. And a pass from Villapondo over the head of Mack and Christmas. But it was tipped by Mack. So we'll stay with Sussex. Jasmine Sullivan checking in, as does Jada Rogers. Rich Brunson, the five-year man, leading the Jersey Blues. And a nice rebound and putback for Caroline Fox. 
for the Sussex County Skylanders. That trims the Brookdale lead back down to double dig digits for the first time since the first half of the first quarter. Carissa Reyes over to Vera Ajimang. And Jada Rogers, the three ball is no good. And a rebound by Gina Zazali over to Angela Christmas. And the pass to v Reese Vanderhoof was tipped away, so we'll stay with the Skylanders. Reese Vanderhoof goes inside, puts the layup, no good. But Caroline Fox recovers for the Skylanders. And the Brookdale lead goes down to six. Timeout called by Rich Brunson of the Jersey Blues. 20 to 14, Brookdale still on top of the Sussex Skylanders, but now the Skylanders uh, in hot pursuit of the Jersey Blues with six minutes, just under six minutes to go in the second quarter. We'll take a quick break, about a 30 second break, right here on Brookdale TV. My name is Gianna Pacini. I'm from Keyport. I went to Keyport High School. My position is a guard. Um, I'm majoring in psychology, and I came to Brookdale because it's close to home and to play basketball. Hi, I'm Rakaya Mack. I'm from Jersey City, New Jersey. I came from Piscataway High School. I'm a guard. I came to Brookdale to further the start of my academic and basketball career, and I study in psychology. Hi, my name is Jada Rogers. I'm from Long Branch. I went to Long Branch High School. I'm a shooting guard, and I attended Brookdale because I think it's a great start to my academic career as well as my athletic career. And we're back, 20 to 14, Brookdale on top of the Sussex County Skylanders. For those of you who have just been tuning in in the past few minutes, my name is Dominic Sama, and along with the Brookdale TV crew, we are always honored to bring to you a live stream broadcast here from Robert J. Collins Arena in Lincroft, New Jersey. Currently in Monmouth County, where the Brookdale Jersey Blues women's basketball team hosting the Sussex County Skylanders. Jada Rogers going inside, putting up the land from the baseline and is good. Makes the Brookdale League go up to eight, 22 to 14. Five and a half minutes left to go in this second quarter of play in the first half. Nice pass over from number 21, Madison Malu, over to number 15, Angela Christmas, who misses the first but recovers with the lay-in. And again, trims the Brookdale lead down to six. 22 to 16, five minutes to go in the first half of play. We're halfway through the second quarter. Jasmine Sullivan over to Ella Case. Thought about the shot, giving it over to Carissa Reyes, the point guard, who puts up a floater, almost got it, bumped. It'll be a shooting foul, so she'll have an opportunity at the line for two. Carissa Reyes averages 83% from the free throw line. That's good enough to lead the team in free throw shooting percentage. Number two, Carissa Reyes, the freshman guard, stands at 5'2" from Jersey City, New Jersey. We'll take her first shot at the line here. And makes the first. And Carissa Reyes makes the second here at the line. She averages 11.9 points per game for the Jersey Blues. And here comes the Sussex Skylanders breaking through the full court press. And Tia Melvin trying to recover that ball, but the ball goes off of Angela Christmas's foot. So we'll go back to the Brookdale Jersey Blues. Carissa Reyes with the possession. Reyes goes inside, giving it over to Jada Rogers, the three ball from the corner, and swishes it home. And it gives the Brookdale lead back to 11, 27 to 16. Possession will go back to the Jersey Blues after a misfired pass from Angela Christmas. 
So Jada Rogers inbounds to Carissa Reyes. Takes it over the timeline for the Jersey Blues. Over to Rakaia Mack and Pacini at the corner, no good, and a rebound recovered by Donna Gonzalez. Got into foul trouble early, but now finally checked back into the game for the Skylanders. Misses that shot there from the paint, and here comes Carissa Reyes for Brookdale. Reyes goes inside, kicks it out to Jada Rogers, who puts up a long two and is off the back iron. Carissa Reyes over to Jada Rogers. This is an NBA range three who airballs it. And I'll go back to Sussex. And here comes Angela Christmas over back to Gina Zazali. And number 21, Madison Malu puts it up. No. Actually dishes it over to Donna Gonzalez and lays it in. Trims the Brookdale lead back down to nine. Jasmine Sullivan defended by Gonzalez. Puts it up. Bumped by Angela Christmas. And it's going to be a charging foul on Sullivan. That's her first of the game. Now one thing is this for Jasmine Sullivan, when she starts getting into foul trouble, she gets into foul trouble very, very quickly. She's only one foul in in this matchup. So of course, she definitely needs to watch out for that for the rest of this game because she is a really huge and great asset for this Brookdale squad. Brookdale still up 27-18, this is three minutes left in the second quarter and here comes Carissa Reyes with numbers and stolen away by Ella Villapando. There's gonna be a timeout called by the head coach, Caitlin Blair, in her sixth season leading the Sussex County Skylanders. We're gonna keep it here with 2.47 to go. And now the Skylanders looking to try and get some payback here against the Jersey Blues. And the Jersey Blues have won four of their last five, their only loss coming against the Raritan Valley Lions, which was here in Collins Arena, a 12-point loss. But the rest of those past four games have been in the win column for Brookdale, which explains why they're at number three in the conference as number one, Gina Zazali, the nice pass from Madison Malu, lays it in and trims the Brookdale lead down to seven now. Two and a half minutes to go in this first half of play. Now the Jersey Blues stand at 11 and seven overall, eight and two in league play, representing Region 19. Again, they are third in league play behind Rowan College of South Jersey, Gloucester and Northampton. Now for the, both the men's and women's basketball team, the game of the year is probably going to be February 12th, that's a Saturday afternoon. The women host Northampton, and that's going to be a huge matchup, as is the men's playing against Northampton. And their tip-off will be at 2 p.m. Now both teams, their previous games were postponed and or canceled due to the snowstorm that ravaged the entire state on Saturday. Rakaia Mack laying it in for the Jersey Blues. And Elevia Pondo throwing it away for Sussex, so we'll go back to Brookdale. Now the Brookdale Jersey Blues were supposed to play at Middlesex this past Saturday, but their game will be postponed to this coming Sunday, no, February 6th. Rakaia Mack giving it over to Jada Rogers, a sharp shooter from the right corner, no good, and a rebound by Rakaia Mack. And Carissa Reyes 
Give me over to Jasmine Sullivan. Thought about a long two, puts it up from the free throw line and late, check that, puts it in. 31 to 20, Brookdale on top of the Skylanders. A nice pass from Ella Via Pondo to Donna Gonzalez, but the land won't go. And Carissa Reyes almost loses the handle, and she does, falls back. And Donna Gonzalez picks it up. Here comes Via Pondo yet again. Via Pondo has numbers here. And Donna Gonzalez will get fouled going up by Jada Rogers. So Gonzalez will take a trip to the line for two. And we got one more game after this. It's going to be the Brookdale men's hosting the Sussex Skylanders of the men's side. That game will have a tip off at around 7 o'clock p.m. tonight. Donna Gonzalez misses her first at the line for the Skylanders. And she makes it. Substitution for the Jersey Blues will be Vera Ajimung checking in for Gianna Pacini. Carissa Reyes over to Jasmine Sullivan. And now Mack at the right corner over to Sullivan and back to Mack. Max looks to goes inside and is bumped. It'll be a foul on number 15, Angela Christmas, the freshman guard. So that means Brookdale will set to inbound from under the basket. Jada Rogers will do just that. Carissa Reyes over to Jada Rogers from the right corner and air balls it. So go back to the Skylanders, Alan Villapando giving it over to Gina Zazali. And Alan Villapando, the nice lay in and feed from Madison Malu to trim this Brookdale lead down to eight, 31 to 23. 30 seconds left in the first half of play. Carissa Reyes over to Vera Ajimang, misfires the pass, and here comes Angela Christmas. Gives it over to Alan Villapando, and Christmas puts it up. Almost got it, but a foul called, and she'll have a chance at the line for two. Angela Christmas averages 3.6 points per game for the Skylanders. 56.3% from the free throw line. Off the back iron on the first. We're at 11.9 seconds left in this first half of play. And off the back iron for the second shot. Rakaia Mack over to Jada Rogers. Six seconds left on the clock. Picked away by Alan Pondo, and she'll have a chance to beat the buzzer here. That's a three ball and in and out. Almost got it to beat the buzzer there to end the first half, but won't go. And we are back for the second half of play. 31 to 23, Brookdale Jersey Blues leading at home by eight on top of the Sussex County Skylanders. For those of you just tuning in right now, and for those who tuned in for the beginning of the game also, welcome to the broadcast. My name is Dominic Sama, and along with my broadcast partner, Ian Mulhern, mm. who is a little bit late, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, we are proud to always bring to you men's and women's basketball home games here at Brookdale Community College, only on Brookdale TV. So, Ian, uh, you haven't seen much of the game yet. You did see the last few minutes of the first half. What did you see with that so far? Was Sussex with the momentum? Was Brookdale having the momentum? What did you think? 
I felt like it was more Brookdale having the momentum, and they just came out and played, and I think in the second half they will continue just to do that. And here's number 21, Madison Mailu over to, that is number four, Donna Gonzalez, the 5'9 freshman out of Hampton, New Jersey, no good. And Gianna Pacini, coast to coast of the land, no good on the other end, and a rebound by Gonzalez. Gina Zazali in for the Skylanders, came off the bench at the beginning of the game. Now number 24, Tia Melvin, over to Madison Mailu. Melvin looking to go inside, but tied up by Sullivan. And kicks out to Mailu. And Gina Zazali, the quick three, no good. And a rebound by Rakaya Mack, the leading scorer of the Jersey Blues. Carissa Reyes around and no good. And the pass misfired, but deflected by Reyes, so it will go to Sussex. Well, Dom, on that one, it was just close, but no cigar on that one. So Sussex will take back possession here. Gina Zazali with the possession, and Tia Melvin loses the handle for a second, but recovers, and here's Madison Melu kicking it out to Gina Zazali. And she misfires the pass, and now Jada Rogers with the handle. Rogers looks to go, and looks to to go inside and giving it over to Rakaia Mack. Now Pacini, the three ball, no good, and a rebound by Reese Vanderhoof. Vanderhoof averages 10.8 rebounds a game. That's good enough to lead the Skylanders on that part of the stat sheet. Madison Malou over to Gina Zazali, thought about a three, almost got picked away by Reyes. Malou looking to go inside, puts up the floater and gets the shooter's roll. Nice floater right there. 31-25, Brookdale still with a six point lead over the Sussex County Skylanders. Carissa Reyes running the floor at the logo for Brookdale and a nice move there. Kicking it over to Jada Rogers, the three ball and nails it home. Nothing but net on that one. Great three through the, con through the defense. Madison Melu looking to do a Euro step and air balls it. It will stay with Brookdale. This is the first of two games that we'll be having. Both are similarly Sussex versus Brookdale, but right now we're broadcasting the women's game and next will come the men's. Reese Vanderhoof, nice pass over to Gina Zazali, deflected by Carissa Reyes. A nice six cents there by Reyes to poke it away. And Zazali will inbound it from under the basket again. Donna Gonzalez and now Mel Lou and Zazali. Zazali over to number 20, Reese Vanderhoof and stolen away by Jada Rogers who puts it up and lays it in. That's another one for Rogers right there. Reese Vanderhoof gets picked away by Rakaia Mack and it will stay with Sussex. That's good. Vanderhoof will inbound over to Gina Zazali. And now Madison Malu bumped, fouled, and will go to the line for two. So Madison Malou of the Sussex County Skylanders will shoot it first at the line and miss. Malou's a 29.5% free throw shooter. Averages 8.5 points per game nonetheless for the Skylanders. Jada Rogers at the left wing off the mark from three. Gina Zazali had the rebound, almost got picked away by Pacini, and Zazali will bring it over and give it over to Vanderhoof. Madison Malou 
Shoots it up and is no good. And a rebound by Jasmine Sullivan. Sullivan going inside, putting it up herself. No good and a rebound by Zazali. Madison Malou in hot pursuit. Coast to coast, puts it up and lays it in. Brookdale lead trimmed down to nine. 36 to 27. Six minutes left in the third quarter. Rez doesn't get the shooter's roll and Zazali the rebound. Pass intended for Melu, stolen by Jada Rogers who puts it up and is fouled by Zazali going up. So she will have a chance at the line, 4-2. Speaking of Jada Rogers, she's heating up this quarter, has five points in the quarter. And plenty of more in the first half, so let's expect a lot more from the sharpshooter for the Jersey Blues, who is 62, check that, 63% from the free throw line, but misses the first right there. Rogers averages 12.1 points per game for Brookdale and makes the second. Substitution for Jada Rogers will be number four, Ella Case. Now, Ella Case is a 5'4 freshman guard out of Seeger. Vast majority of these Brookdale Blues are freshmen. All but one of them are actually freshmen. Gina P Gianna Pacini, check that, is the lone sophomore on this Brookdale squad. Brookdale with a 10 point lead over the Skylanders. Marissa Reyes over to Rakaia Mack. Takes it to the logo. Defended by Angela Christmas. Rakaia Mack almost loses the handle and a foul by Angela Christmas. It's going to be a reach in. So Jasmine Sullivan will inbound over to Reyes, the floor general for the Jersey Blues. Reyes defended by Zazali. Now over to Jasmine Sullivan, who gets picked away by Melu, and there's a steal for Sussex. Jenna Zazali over to Angela Christmas. It's going to be a blocking foul on... Ella Case, that's her third foul of the game. So Gianna Pacini will check right back in. She'll actually check in for Carissa Reyes. Ella Case getting into foul trouble here. Brookdale with only seven players on the roster. Two of them on the bench. So it's pretty good rotation for the Jersey Blues as per substitutions. Number 15, Angela Christmas of Sussex making the first at the line. And misses the shooter's roll on the second. 56% free throw shooter. Rebound was made by Vera Ajimang and here comes Rakaia Mack. Rakaia Mack leads the scoring for the Jersey Blues with 12.3 points per game. Running the floor for Brookdale. Here's Jasmine Sullivan kicking it to Gianna Pacini. Stepping back, thought about a shot. Jasmine Sullivan over to Pacini. And a shot clock violation. They were not paying attention to the top of the backboard. Yeah, it seems like Brookdale has a lot of hesitation in this game. That may be so. Leading by nine is here's Madison Malu, the three ball no good. Malu defended by Alec Case. Now Reese Vanderhoof 
putting up the floater and getting the shooters rolling in. Tough shot right there, but way to make it in. Kaya Mack thought about going inside, stepping back for a three ball and makes it. Great step back by Rakaia Mack. It's going to be a long two. 39 to 30, Brookdale on top. Madison Melu over to Donna Gonzalez and now Ellen Viapando over to Melu. Melu misses it. And Via Pondo gets bumped by Rakaya Mack, and she will head to the line for two. That's number 11, Ellen Via Pondo. 3.25 to go in the third quarter of play. Brookdale cheerleaders recently entering the arena, cheering for their hometown team, Jersey Blues. Ellen Viapondo, who's a lefty shooter, misses the first. She's 70.6% from the free throw line and makes the second. So she goes one of two from the charity stripe <laughs> to trim this Brookdale lead down to eight. Jada Rogers puts up the shot and is wide left. Rebound by Donna Gonzalez. Reese Vanderhoof giving over to Ellen Viapondo. Viapondo over to number 21, Madison Malu. Viapondo now, and now Malu defended by Matt. Reese Vanderhoof thought about the three, goes inside. Caroline Fox puts it up and blocked away by Jasmine Sullivan. Great defense by Sullivan to block that shot. Kaya Mack over to Carissa Reyes at the logo. Logo gets a, check that. <laughs> Reyes gets a screen from Vera Ajimang and Jada Rogers gets bumped. So she will head to the line for a pair of the charity stripe. Rogers misses the second off the back iron. Reese Vanderhoof with it. Gives it over to Madison Malou, defended by Jada Rogers. Caroline Fox putting it up. No good. It was strong. A rebound. Fight for the ball. Three players on the floor. It'll be a held ball in possession going to Brookdale. Carissa Reyes over to Rakaia Mack. Mack looks to go inside, had an open lane for a second. And Vera Adjumang, the free throw, J is good. Nice shot by Adjumang from the free throw line. Beautiful stroke right there. We'll provide you a replay of that free throw jumper as Carissa Reyes with the steal. And here's Jada Rogers who gets bumped as she will head to the line for a pair to extend this lead in favor of Brookdale. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Brookdale, when they get aggressive like this, can go on the offensive end and just dominate. And she misses both. Reese Vanderhoof over to Madison Malou, who puts it up and no good. A rebound by Caroline Fox. Fox tried to rip it away from Carissa Reyes. It'll be a held ball and it will remain with the Skylanders. Looks like a technical foul will be called on the head coach of the Skylanders, Caitlin Blair, that's 
the team's fourth foul of the game. So Rakaia Mack will be the one shooting at the charity stripe. Mack will miss the first. She'll shoot the second right here. And she'll miss the second. So the lead for Brookdale remains at 11. We're at one and a half minutes to go in this third quarter. Carissa Reyes over to Jada Rogers. Jasmine Sullivan shoots a jumper. Thought she was fouled, but shot is no good. Vanderhoof had the rebound and gives it over to Madison Malou. Malou gets a screen from Fox. And over to Vanderhoof who puts it up. Hook shot goes in. <laughs> Brookdale lead now trimmed to nine. Carissa Reyes going inside, kicking over. Gianna Pacini thought about it. And looks to go inside, puts it up, and his foul is going up. And the foul is going to be on Reese Vanderhoof. So Gianna Pacini well head to the line for two. Pacini misses the first. Tighter, get in, get in closer, zoom in, please. And she makes the second. Alan Villapondo with the handle. She's going side, gives over to Donna Gonzalez, the nice put in for the Sussex Skylanders to trim this Brookdale lead to eight. Out of possession, we'll go back to the Sussex Skylanders after a mishap at the baseline on the other side for the Jersey Blues. A little frustration there. And Vanderhoof puts it up. Check that, that's Donna Gonzalez who puts it up and in a nice feed from Reese Vanderhoof. Trims the Brookdale lead to six. Gianna Pacini, looking to go baseline. Picked away by Reese Vanderhoof, and it's going to stay with the Jersey Blues. Pacini set to inbound and gives it over to Jada Rogers, who puts it up. No good, and the buzzer sounds, and Brookdale is now up by six, so. The Sussex Skylanders giving the Brookdale Jersey Blues a run for their money now with Brookdale having a 43 to 37 lead over the Sussex Skylanders. So we'll be right back with just a few messages here on Brookdale TV. My name is Gianna Pacini. I'm from Keyport. I went to Keyport High School. My position is a guard. Um, I'm majoring in psychology and I came to Brookdale because it's close to home and to play basketball. Hi, I'm Rakaya Mack. I'm from Jersey City, New Jersey. I came from Piscataway High School. I'm a guard. I came to Brookdale to further the start of my academic and basketball career, and I study in psychology. Hi, my name is Jada Rogers. I'm from Long Branch. I went to Long Branch High School. I'm a shooting guard, and I attended Brookdale because I think it's a great start to my academic career as well as my athletic career. And we are back for a fresh fourth quarter a fresh new quarter here. The final quarter of this game. 43 to 37, Brookdale on top of the Sussex County Skylanders. The possession will actually be going to the Sussex County Skylanders. 
to start this possession. Seems to be a lot of confusion today. But nonetheless, the Sussex Skylanders really gaining the momentum towards the end of that third quarter. Oh yeah, they're coming to play like they have a chip on their shoulder. Standing at five and nine overall. Three and seven in league play in region 19 league play. Standing at number seven in the conference. As Reese Vanderhoof, the three ball from the top of the key is no good and tie up under the basket. So it will go back to the Jersey Blues a result of a held ball. So Carissa Reyes will look to go inside, gets a screen from Jasmine Sullivan. Carissa Reyes, the three ball, no good, and a rebound by Madison Malou. Malou with the handle, defended by Reyes at the top of the key, and now defended by Jada Rogers. Brookdale with a 2-3 defense. Vanderhoof over to Gonzalez. Alan Pondo. Looks to kick it over back to Malou. Malou the three ball, in and out, and no good. A rebound by Jasmine Sullivan. Sullivan gesturing to Reyes to go inside, and Gianna Pacini will shoot the three ball, no good. Almost a rebound by Carissa Reyes, but it will go back to the Sussex Skylanders. Alan Villapondo will bring it up for Sussex. Madison Malou over to Donna Gonzalez and a misfire pass to Villapondo goes back to the Jersey Blues. No score has been made in just about 90 seconds of play. The Skylanders have been getting closer and closer in this game, but their turnovers have, have been costing them a little bit too. Pacini at the right corner, no good. And it's tipped away and it's gonna stay with the Jersey Blues. 8.19 to go in regulation. Makaya Mack at the left corner. And now Carissa Reyes. Gianna Pacini, the long two is good. Nothing but net on that one from Pacini. 45-37, Brookdale on top with eight minutes to go in regulation. Ellen Viapondo defended closely by Carissa Reyes. Viapondo passes it out, tipped away, and Madison Malou, nice pass over to Reese Vanderhoof, who can't finish the first time, puts it up the second time, no good. And now kicks it out to Ellen Viapondo, who tries a three from the top of the key, no good, and a rebound by Rakaia Mack. Jada Rogers over to Gianna Pacini. That's a jumper, no good. Jada Rogers over to Jasmine Sullivan. Thought about a three. Gianna Pacini, this is a long two. Her foot was on the line. And a rebound by Ellen Viapondo. Ellen Viapondo getting a good few rebounds on the stat sheet also. Added to Reese Vanderhoof, who leads in the rebounding category. Yeah, that's been a big factor of them staying in this game has been that defense and rebounding. Madison Malou missing the air ball there for the Sussex Skylanders. And with seven minutes to go, Brookdale will take back the possession up by eight. Timeout called by head coach Rich Brunson of the Jersey Blues. 45-37. Brookdale on top of the Sussex County Skylanders. We'll keep it here, 6.54 to go. Ian Mulhern, what do you think so far of this matchup? And Brookdale having blown out this Sussex team previously in the end of November, what's the difference here this late into the season? Well, that was in the beginning. Now this is later, and they're playing like they have a chip on their shoulder, and they want their payback. So they're going to give a Brookdale run for their money for the next 6 minutes, 54 seconds here. With their lone loss in the past five games coming against the Raritan Valley College Lions, a loss by 12. That was a 65-53 hard-fought loss, though. 
against the Lions. But the Jersey Blues, other than that, have been pretty consistent with their wins. And every time they have won in those four games, Rakaia Mack has made a double-double. Oh, yeah, big time. Make sure to watch out for Jada Rogers as well. She's been lights out this game. Yeah, in the previous game against the Ocean County College Vikings, a whole bunch of players got to double digits, and actually two players made it to double-double. Jada Rogers made 25 points, six rebounds, two assists in that game, while Rakaia Mack got a double-double with 24 points, 12 rebounds, four assists. Jasmine Sullivan, another double-double, 10 points, 13 rebounds, three assists. Gianna Puccini missing the corner three there. And of course, last but not least, in the game against Ocean, Carissa Reyes making 15 points, almost nearing a double-double with seven rebounds and six assists. So. Mack is definitely someone to watch out for in this game. Yeah, Rakaia Mack lately has been lighting it up for the Jersey Blues, not only in the scoring category, but in the rebounding category, dime out category with the assists. Uh, but all around, Rakaia Mack has been doing very well. And for a young Blues. team, they're very good at helping each other out on defense and offense. Yep. Jada Rogers over to Gianna Puccini at the right side. Puts up the NBA range three and no good. A rebound by Caroline Fox. Allen Viapondo running the point, bringing it over the logo for the Sussex Skylanders. Reese Vanderhoof, the leading rebounder at the top of the key, defended by Rakaia Mack. <laughs> Allen Viapondo defended by Carissa Reyes. Misses that layup there. And Jada Rogers will take it all the way by herself. Puts it up, no good, and it's going to be a charge. <laughs> Brookdale looking to stay in the win column here and advance to 12 and 7 overall and 9 and 2 in league play. That's if everything holds up with the current score right now. Carissa Reyes with the rebound, the defensive rebound, and gives it over to Jada Rogers, who puts it up at the other end. Doesn't get the shooter's roll for the layup. And Madison Malu collects the board and brings it up for Sussex. Tries to thread the needle with that pass. A bounce pass over to Caroline Fox, who was tipped away by Mack. Angela Christmas inbounds in. Madison Malou gets fouled by Jada Rogers. That's another problem for the Jersey Blues is fouling teams when they're close in a game and let this team back in it. Yeah, Jada Rod both Jada Rogers and Ella Case with three fouls apiece. And Madison Malou missing on the first. Again, Madison Malou is a 29.5% free throw shooter. Averages 8.5 a game for the Skylanders and goes one for two at the line. thing with the Skylanders teams is when they've had the chance, they just couldn't execute in the big moments. Ray is defended by Villapondo. Puccini, over to v check that, Reyes and now Puccini, back to Reyes and now Vera Ajumang who tries the jumper, no good and a rebound by Rakaia Mack, goes inside, puts it up, no good and a rebound by Sullivan. Fouled by number 20, Reese Vanderhoof. Down from Puccini. Jasmine Sullivan over to Vera Ajumang and Rakaia Mack is fouled by 
Number 20, Reese Vanderhoof yet again. Vanderhoof is at four fouls, one more and she's gone. Yeah, and that wouldn't be good because she's been helping out with the rebound game as well. Sullivan at the right corner, cross court pass over to Reyes, who puts it up, floated short. And Reyes gets her own rebound and is fouled by Allen Villaponda. Skylanders team is giving Brookdale a lot of chances here. And Brookdale up by seven, 4.04 left in this matchup. Jasmine Sullivan goes in, puts it up, and it's going to be a charge. Great shot by Sullivan, and nice and one. Let me see. Oh, it's going to be a charging foul on Sullivan. Check that, that would be a charge. 45 to 38, Brookdale on top. Sussex still in striking distance with just under four minutes to play. Yeah, but if Sussex wants to do something, they better do it now. 45 to 40, Brookdale on top with a five point lead. Three and a half minutes to play in this game. We'll be right back. And we're back, 326 to play in this matchup. The Sussex County Skylanders women's basketball team against the Brookdale Jersey Blues here in Monmouth County in Lakecroft, New Jersey the home arena of the Brookdale Jersey Blues and Robert J. Collins Arena. Rakaia Mack putting up the fallback lay-in and is good. Great shot 40, by Rakaia Mack. 47 to 40, Brookdale on top. Number four, Donna Gonzalez puts up no good. And possession will remain with the Sussex Skylanders. Stop as you play. Uh, they get the 20 seconds left on the shot clock. That is why they uh, they stopped the play so far. We're now at under three minutes to play. For those of you tuning in, the past few minutes, welcome aboard. Ian Mulhern, along with yours truly, Dominic Sama, the rest of this matchup. Nice shot from number four, Donna Gonzalez. Ian, talk about that. Chris Reyes puts it up. And it's gonna be a charge. Yeah, there's been a lot of charges in this game and that's what's been keeping this Sussex Skylanders team in this game. So let's see if Brookdale can hold on to win this. Alan Villaponda over to Gina Zazali who gets blocked away by Rakaia Mack. And like I said before, Sussex in striking distance with two and a half to play in this matchup. Ellen Villaponda running the floor for the Skylanders. The leading scorer with possession of the ball at 13.5 points per game. Madison Malou will have a chance in the line for two after a shooting foul from number 25, Jasmine Sullivan. Madison Malou, 29% free throw shooter, makes the first. And she misses the second, it was short. A rebound by Reyes. And now Jada Rogers with the possession, back to Reyes at the top of the key. Reyes over to the right wing. 
to Pacini. So she'll put it up off the back of the backboard. We'll go back to Sussex. We're now at 113 seconds left in this game. 47-43. Allen Viapondo over to Madison Melu. Melu with the handle, defended by Gianna Pacini. Melu over to number 15, Angela Christmas, who gets bumped and fouled. Yeah, this has been the problem. Brookdale's been fouling a lot and letting this team back in the game. Christmas will head to the line for two. And misses the first. And Christmas makes the second. So we are at a one possession lead for Brookdale. 90 seconds to play in regulation. Chris Reyes putting up the layup, bumped, and will head to the line for two. Reyes at the charity stripe. And she'll miss the first. A minute 24 to play in this game. And she makes the second. So one of two from the line. Coach Caitlin Blair, six years into coaching Sussex, she will call a timeout. And we'll keep it here, 124 to go in this game. Ian Mulhern, what do you have to say about this game so far? You've only been here for a little bit of the first half, but, but all of the second half, you've been with me on the broadcast. What do you have to say so far with Sussex coming back? after Brookdale being on top 16 to four in the first quarter. I gotta say it's more Brookdale been giving this team chances at the line and giving them open shots in the post. And there's your analysis from the best in the business, Ian Mulhern. 48-44, Brookdale on top. Two possession lead unless they get a miracle three-pointer and a foul. Madison Malou with the possession, defended by Pacini. Angela Christmas puts up the jumper, no good. Fight for the rebound, and Pacini will have the handle. Looks like she'll get tied up. It's gonna be a held ball possession going to Sussex, just what the doctor ordered for the Sussex County Skylanders turning the possession back over with 64 seconds to play. We're at the final minute and 57.7 percent, or check that 57.7 seconds in the game. And the clock has stopped because a foul has been called on Gianna Pacini. That's her second, second personal and team's fifth. Number 21, Madison Melu. Who averages 6.4 rebounds a game. That's second to Reese Vanderhoof with 10.8 rebounds. Madison Melu. This is the first. She needs the second here. This is a crucial free throw for the Skylanders in order to keep this game close. And she misses it. Kaya Mack, nice pass over to Carissa Reyes. Defended by Angela Christmas. Over to Mack. And Pacini. Timeout called by Rich Brunson. Okay, 
45.8 to go in this game. We're almost at the end of it, Ian. Uh, any other comments on this game? Yeah, it's when it comes to this Sussex team, they haven't been able to capitalize on the big shot. So the question is here, can they capitalize? You heard it here first, 45.8 left in this matchup. 48-44, Brookdale over the Sussex County Skylanders. The men's basketball team at the bottom left corner of the court. Ready to get their game set after 40 seconds that go by in this matchup. So Carissa Reyes almost lost the handle and gets a reach-in foul from Angela Christmas. Carissa Reyes will head to the line for two and try and keep this game in a multiple possession lead. Makes the first, makes it 49-44. This is the second and Jasmine Sullivan the rebound and blocked from behind but a foul. And this is gonna be on number 14, Caroline Fox. <laughs> Gina Zazali checking in for the Skylanders in place of Caroline Fox. And she has fouled out of the game with five fouls altogether. Jasmine Sullivan makes the first. Now Sullivan is a 42.1% free throw shooter averages. Check that, That's she's a 50% free throw shooter and averages 9.7 points per game for the Jersey Blues. And it's really the big one down low that Brookdale benefits from every single game. Yeah, uh, Sullivan has Steal came. From Angela Christmas. Goes inside, puts it up, no good, and a rebound from Christmas, and the shot no good again, and it will stay with Sussex. Timeout will be called by Sussex. Ian, you had something to say? Yeah, I had to say, Sullivan the past two games has been very big for this Brookdale squad on the defensive side with rebounds. And we're back, 21.8 seconds left in this matchup. This game all but in reach for the Sussex County Skylanders, all but out of reach, should I say. Now with 17.4 to go, Sussex will keep the possession. They'll need a miracle here. It's a lot of time. They still need to shoot two threes in order to tie this game up. Ellen Villapondo sets her feet for three, but misses it. It was an air ball, so it'll be a foul on Brookdale. Check that, it's gonna be on Sussex, number one, Gina Zazali. 8.9 to go. Just to remind you folks, who are tuned in currently right now. This is the first of two matchups. We'll have the Sussex versus Brookdale men's basketball game for you. Tip off set to be at 7 p.m. in perfect timing, 15 minutes here on Brookdale TV. So be sure to tune back in just around 7 p.m. and we'll have that coverage for you here. Kaya Mack makes both free throws. 8.9 to play, and a steal by Rakaia Mack, and this game is over. 
52 to 44, your final score. The Brookdale Jersey Blues are triumphant, are on a two game winning streak and win over the Sussex County Skylanders. The Sussex County Skylanders, make no mistake, they gave Brookdale a run for their money today after Brookdale handily defeating them uh, at the end of November. Oh, definitely. I'll give them credit. They hustled, they played defense, but they just could not make the big shots when they counted. So for all of us here at Brookdale TV and Ian Mulhern, my name is Dominic Sama. We'll be back in just a few minutes, actually, for Sussex versus Brookdale men's side here on Brookdale TV.